Hey guys, in today's video, you can learn to integrate DeepSeq R1 in Node.js with OpenAI SDK. DeepSeq is a powerful AI model designed for natural language understanding and generation. It has been trained on vast amounts of data to provide intelligent and context aware responses. Let's start by generating an API key. Instead of using DeepSeq platform, we can get a free API key from Open Router, which provides access to DeepSeq R1 for free. For that, we can search for Open Router, then just click on it. Open Router is an API gateway that allows us to access multiple AI models using a single Open AI compatible API. And in this search model section, you can search for DeepSeq R1 free and just click on it. So this is the free version of DeepSeq R1. To generate API key, we can proceed to API section. You can also see the Python code for integrating DeepSeq. So if you want to integrate in Python, you can just copy from here. Here we have create API key button. We can proceed with it. Then we can sign it with Google. Agree the terms and click on continue. Now we are on the API keys part. Just click on create key. We can include the name to DeepSeq API. And this is our API key. Then copy from here and we need to save this. So let's create a new folder. We can name it to DeepSeq Node.js. I'll just uh, open my command prompt. We can navigate to the created folder. So to open this in BS code, we can run code space dot. This is our DeepSeq Node.js project. Now let's create dot env file. And in this API key value, we can paste the copied API key from open router. For DeepSeq, we need to have node version 18 plus and npm installed. You can check this in terminal by simply running node hyphen v. As you can see, we have the 20 node, so there won't be any problem. Now we need to run npm init hyphen y to create a package.json file with default values. So this is our project information and we also have the package.json with the scripts and dependencies. Let's also npm install .env. We will need to initialize the OpenAI SDK with a base URL and API key. For that we can create config.js. This would be .env config. Let's npm install OpenAI. Now we will import OpenAI here. This line creates an OpenAI client instance with open router API key and base URL. In .env, I can also add base URL here. We can get the base URL from Python script of Open Router. Open Router provides this specific URL for connecting to their API, which is required for making requests to the DeepSeq R1 model. So let's just copy this and paste it here. Now let's fetch the base URL 
and API key from .env. Finally, let's export this. To include the functionality, we can create file dip6service.js. We need to have Express installed. So in the terminal, run npm install Express. Then let's import Express. Let me import our open AI from config. Here we can use express.router to organize our routes. This will be our post request. And we will be using the postman to send the content. So we will extract the query from request body. In case of no query, we can provide error message of query is required. Now let's implement our open AI API method. This method is used to interact with open AI chat models depending on the model specified and simply generates text completions based on the given input and parameters. We will specify the model to dipsic r1 free the open router forwards this request to dipsic r1 which processes the input and generates a text based response inside the messages field this array defines the conversation context for the model here role user means we are sending a message as the user inside this content we will pass the query extracted from the request body, which contains the user's question or prompt. Let's return our response. And in the catch block, we can include 500 status with error message. So this is our dipsic functionality with routes. Finally, let's export this router. Now to set up our express server, let's create index.js file. We will import express here. Let's import our dipsic routes. This line initializes an express application instance. Let's set up middleware here. 
this line is used to parse incoming request with JSON and make the past data available on request.body. For DeepSeq, we can set the root path. So our route for this will simply be root path slash DeepSeq. Then we can initialize our port to 3000. And the app.listen port command is used to start the express server and make it listen for HTTP request on the specified port. Now let's run our project using node index.js. You can see that we are facing an error here. The error states the open AI API key environment variable is missing or empty. This means that the API key is either not provided or is incorrectly set in our configuration. Let's go back to our config.js file to fix this. The problem here is that we made a typo in our code. It should not be base underscore URL or API underscore key. Instead, it should be base URL. The URL should be capitalized with no underscore. Key should have a capital K and no underscore. Now it should work perfectly. Let's run our project again and check. You can see server starting on port 3000. It's time to test in our postman. Let's open our postman and perform route function. Click on create a new collection. We can name it DeepSeq. Then click on add request. So the route is http localhost 3000 slash deepseek. This would be post request and inside the body change it to raw and it should be in JSON format. Now if we don't include any field and send this request, we get 400 status with query is required message. So we must provide the query field. Let's ask about what is AI. You can see now we are getting many responses. It is representing the entire response object written by the DeepC. You can see the message response here. So actually we only need this part. In order to return only the response, we need to slightly modify the service part. So here we should return completion.choices0.message.content. Here choices is an array that contains one or more response objects generated by the AI. And including zero gets you the first generated message from the array of responses. I will again rerun the project. Then again click on send. Now we are able to retrieve the responses only. So we are able to get the response on what is AI. We have the complete explanation here. We can also change the content. I can simply ask how to assess environment variables in Node.js. So this is the response for assessing environment variables in Node.js. It has also provided code example. You can follow this to understand the concept. So that was all for integrating DeepSeq R1. In this video, we successfully integrated DeepSeq R1 in Node.js using OpenAI SDK with OpenRouter. Thank you guys for watching this video.